My name is Dr. Hassan Murad. I am a physician in the Division of Preventive Medicine at the Mayo Clinic. I direct Mayo Clinic Evidence-Based Practice Center, which is a program that conducts systematic reviews and meta-analyses and synthesizes evidence for the purpose of guideline development. The study I described today was funded by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality with the aim of developing guidelines on the care of patients with asthma. Asthma is a very common condition with important morbidity and mortality. About 24 million Americans are diagnosed with asthma every year. Diagnosing asthma is challenging. The common symptoms, such as shortness of breath, wheezing, cough, are relatively nonspecific. And even the existing tests, such as bronchodilator response and positive bronchial challenge, are not considered as a gold standard and are not always diagnostic. A fractional exhaled nitric oxide, or pheno, is a test that can be used to diagnose asthma, but we don't know very well how accurate it is. Therefore, the objective of this systematic review was to evaluate the diagnostic accuracy of pheno in individuals with suspected asthma. The main finding of this study is that pheno testing has sensitivity that range between 41% and 80% and specificity that range between 64% and 93%. This broad range depends on the cutoff of the test. Um, and the test in general increases the odds of b having an accurate diagnosis when positive by almost three to seven times. The test is more accurate in people who are naive to asthma, in children, and people who do not smoke. So for uh, physicians and patients dealing with asthma, uh, the takeaway from this study is that we still have to depend on history, physical exam, and response to treatment, as well as other tests uh, to diagnose asthma and complete the puzzle. And uh, from these tests, pheno is also one additional tool. Uh, we hope that this review will put uh, pheno as a test uh, in the toolbox of physicians and um, help them uh, combine that along with patient's history, physical, uh, and response to treatment. Future research is uh, needed uh, to look at other biomark biomarkers uh, and hopefully we will find something that has better accuracy uh, that can provide a more definitive diagnosis. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.